Is Islam beyond criticism? No, no one should be able to criticise Islam. Why should they? No one should be able to criticise Islam? No. Why not? Why should they? Have you read it about Islam? Vijay, good morning and a happy new year. Happy new year to you too, mate. Um, and namaste, by the way. And the reason I say namaste is because it means I respect the God that resides in you and I wish everybody did that and we wouldn't have so much problems. So what do you think? Do you think we have the right to offend people of faith? Yes, we do, because if you choose to come and live in a democratic country, if you know you're going to live in a country where everybody's free and everybody's equal, then I think you should um, realise that when you come here that this, that's exactly what it is. You can't leave countries where there's Sharia law and where there's countries where, say, for example, your profit would be respected and this could never happen. You're, gonna, you're fleeing those countries and you're coming here and you're imposing the same laws you fled from over here because you're um, saying that, well, we've come to live in your country and we want you to change your laws according to how we feel. At the end of the day, everybody has a right. If, if, if you believe in something, Nihal, in this society, it doesn't mean I have to believe in it. And if I choose to offend you or do, do a comic, I mean, those books were not free given out to everybody. If they were, people were offended by them, they just shouldn't go out and buy them. And that's it. And if you're not happy with something, why it resort to violence? Why not take legal proceedings? And but, just to correct you on one other point. Yes. Um, even Prophet Muhammad himself, he ordered the death of asthma. Mar- Bint Marwin, a poet who, who made poems against him. So that's history. So that, that's the example a lot of them are using. That Asma Bint Marwin, that poet was ordered, the, the, his death was ordered because he wrote poems against Prophet Muhammad. So that's what they're following. Vijay, stay, the stay, day, stay with us a second. Stop, 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 stop. I want to bring Z in and, and, and get you guys talking. Z, good morning. Happy New Year. Hi. Um, Vijay said, if you come and live in a Western democracy, a liberal democracy, which has freedom of speech... You must accept that people have a right to offend you. Do you agree with that? No, not at all. I don't think anyone should offend anyone. I wouldn't go around offending you or anyone else if people offend someone that I love and also what I respect and it's my belief. It's like, end of the day, that guy said earlier on, if he was to um, say something bad about your parents, you would be, you know what I mean, You you would be so annoyed, you'd be so upset about it. But, you know, I mean, end of the day, violence isn't the answer to everything. But at the end of the day, why should we all live together? We all should respect each other. And why should someone turn around and say something which is wrong? Why should that happen? End of the day, why should if someone draw a cartoon of your parents? You wouldn't like that. Or if someone draw a cartoon of someone else, you wouldn't like that. I was offended. I didn't like what was done. But end of the day, I didn't pick up a gun and go and shoot someone. But end of the day, I was offended and I was upset about it. I mean, end of the day, why should they do that? That's but I, but I've right. got a right. I've got a right to challenge your opinions because a religion is a set of ideas and philosophies which you believe in, and the vast yeah. majority of the yeah. world doesn't believe in. Um, there's over a billion Muslims in the world, but there's you know seven billion people in the world. Therefore, I have a right to say I don't believe in what you're saying. I, in fact, I have a right to say it that what? Wait a minute, right. but see, I have a right to say that what you believe in is ridiculous to me. Now, I'm not saying this personally, but I have a, I have a right. Now, that might offend you. It might offend you, but I have a right to say it. Okay, you have the right to say it, but the thing is, at the end of the day, why be ignorant about it? Why not go and look at the history? At the end of the day, what did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, do for everyone? He was a, such a good guy, and he, he bent over backwards. He spent the word of peace, and you know what I mean, of Islam, and he had justice in every in every way, shape, and form. And the day, he did no wrong to anyone, and so then why should someone, he's not here to defend himself, so all these years later, why are people making the mock up out of him. What, what has he done to that individual? Nothing. So why do it then? It's wrong, isn't it? If Islam... Are you saying then that Islam is beyond criticism? No, I don't think that end of the day no one has the right to end of the day mock our prophet. No, 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 but I, uh, that's not the question I asked you. Is Islam no. beyond criticism? No, no one should be able to criticise Islam. Why should they? No one should be able to criticise Islam. No. Why not? Why should they? Have you read it's about Islam? Have you read it? What is But why, why can't... Why can't okay, so, okay, there are people who believe in Islam who believe homosexuals should be killed. I have a right to question them, criticise them and ridicule that opinion. But, okay, so... But the thing the, the, is, in so Saudi Arabia, Z, you wouldn't be allowed to drive a car. And there is a mullah somewhere in Saudi Arabia who says that that's right. You shouldn't be able to drive a car. 
Now, I have a right to ridicule and criticise that. But everyone has an understanding and a belief. Some people's beliefs are different and some people's beliefs are more yeah, stronger so, so, than so, other people's. So because so of the, the, end of the day, My belief is most probably stronger than some other Muslims or some other Muslim might be, their beliefs might be a little bit more stronger. But than it, can be, but it can be criticised, Z. It can be criticised, Z. No, but could, why should you criticise my... Do you, believe, do you believe in the theory of evolution that we are descended from monkeys, that we evolved from no. apes? Right, OK, so that is a belief system that people have and they believe... they they. They try and base science on it. They look at science at it and they go, look, know, here's the, here is the evidence. Perfect. And yet you... you the world's too perfect. The world's too perfect. It's like we thought that the, the so, earth was flat first until so many years later, we found that the world was round, you know, and it, it's, it's a circle. But the thing is, the day, this was all mentioned in the Quran, you know, 1400 years ago. And, and it, they discovered this so many years later down to the cells and everything it's just so the, the world is too perfect to be man-made or created by whatever the big bag theory or anything like but that you don't, the thing the thing is the thing is, the thing is you just said you feel offended i feel offended by the fact that according to your religion that i mean i'm as a non-muslim i'm a kafir and i'm going to go to hell i feel offended by that what do you say about that what about when you, you, you things about your religion offend other people what about what? No, I'm not. About ter- I'm, okay, it's okay, what, okay, we no, feel offended I'm by this. Ter- Listen, what I'm about what it says saying, about women? I'm not Listen, saying you cannot, to you that you're, you're living, living in Okay, you can't speak at the same time. You cannot speak at the same time. Okay. Vijay, 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 stop talking for a second. Stop talking for a second. Just let Vijay finish his point, Z, and I'll bring you back in. Vijay, finish your point. I'm just trying to say, look, I feel I feel offended by the fact that according to, um, as, a, as a non-Muslim, I'm regarded as a kafir, someone who's a non-believer that's going to go to hell. I feel offended by that, but I don't go... Okay, you made that point. I You've, don't do that, do all right, I? All right, Z, 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 how do you answer that then? Because that is offensive to people. Okay, so the thing is, end of the day, even in other religions, like, um, what is it, Christianity and, uh, uh, you know, Judaism and whatever, they also believe that other people are going to go to hell because they don't follow their faith. Yes, but wait a minute, Z, you said, wait a minute, you, wait a minute, you said Islam... I'm not taking the mock out of... Of VJ and drawing pictures of him and drawing cartoons of him and saying but that Z, he's a Z, you said Islam is above criticism. That. You said Islam is above criticism, okay? But VJ pointed out that according to some people in Islam, because he doesn't believe in it, he's going to hell. And he is offended he by that. No, he is he offended by that. Is, Islam has offended him. No, your your okay, faith has, has offended him. Islam has offended him. But the thing is, at the end of the day, when people believe in certain religions, they might offend me as well. And I'm not turning around and saying, oh, you're But you choose to be offended. You choose to be offended or you choose to be strong and ignore it. No, but there's there's certain points that you can you can you can get offended by and nothing could ignore. But then there's certain things that you can get offended and get really upset about it. But the thing is, end of the day, you can offend me and I will get offended and I'll get upset and I'll think, okay, you know, you shouldn't have done that. That's wrong. But then end of the day, okay, I'm here to defend myself. But why why offend someone who's not even here? Okay, all right. Has, we're gonna, 